This video shows you how to solve two more equations that include fractions. And really, for the most part, the hard part of these problems is adding and subtracting or multiplying and dividing the fractions and not so much the adding and subtract, uh, actually solving the equation. Because in this case, I've got negative 4 and 3 sevenths plus y. So I have to get y by itself, so I can very easily do that by adding 4 and 3 over 7. And over here, I can do the same. I have to do the exact same thing, right? Whenever you try to solve an equation, if you do something to one side to get us a, a desired result, which is y by itself, we have to do it to the other. So that leaves me with y equals, and I'm going to convert them to mix uh, improper fractions. 9 over 4 plus 31 over 7. Now I can uh, try to add these two fractions. 4 and 7 are relatively prime. They have nothing in common. So that means I just multiply them together um, to get the common denominator. So our common denominator is going to be 28. And I multiply the 4 by 7, so I multiply the 9 by 7, which is 63. And I multiply the 7 by 4, so I multiply the 31 by 4, which is 124. I add these two together, and I end up with 187 over 28. Okay, so that's your answer, 187 over 28. You could write it as a mixed number if you like, um, but this is a good enough answer. Okay, on two, well, this is no longer addition, right? This is a um, multiplication problem. So I have to get rid of the 3 and 1 third because it's multiplied by x. I have to do the opposite, which is either divide by that or multiply by the reciprocal, which is what I'm going to do. So let's first change it to improper fractions. Now to get rid of the 10 thirds, I multiply by 3 over 10. And the reason I do that is because when I cancel things out, that leaves me with just 1x, which is what I like. But I multiplied by 3, 10 over there, so I have to multiply 3, 10, 3 over 10 here. So that leaves me with x equals, well, let's do some simplification. A 5 goes both into 5 and 10, so I'm left with 1 and 2. So 1 times 3 is 3, 7 times 2 is 14. And that's your correct answer.